Hey Planner Babes, Ashley here. This video is a collaboration with Miss Elizabeth from EJ Joyful Plans. We are both making Bujo step trackers and we're going to show you two different styles on how to make those. So I will link her YouTube video and her channel and her Instagram down below. Seriously, make sure you watch her video, you subscribe to her and you follow her on Instagram because she is extremely creative and she's hilarious. She makes really, really cute uh, planner spreads. So make sure you guys are following her. Now for my step tracker, I'm just doing it for a month, but Elizabeth is going to do hers for the second quarter of 2021. So she's going to be doing three of them, which I thought was a really good idea. But for me, I'm just going to do it for the month of April. And then, like I said, she's going to do it for the second quarter, which would be April, May, and June. Now I was sitting here thinking like, what could I do? Like, how could I make a fun little Bujo step tracker that would be easy for everyone to make, especially for beginners? And I remember that I have these hexagon cutters that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I don't know. It's been a couple of years now. And I initially started with the larger hexagon cutter. And as you guys can see here, I did it with pencil. And I got about halfway through and I realized there's not going to be enough room for 30 hexagons on the front. Now, I definitely could have flipped it over and did the rest of them on the back. But I wanted it to be one page, like one sheet on the front. So I went back in and I used the smaller hexagon cutter. And to do that, I have this scrap piece of cardstock that has this really weird pattern on it and I knew I wouldn't use this. So I just, um, where's it at? I just cut off, cut out a piece like this. And then I took this and a pencil and I just started to trace this. Now the tricky part is going to be me going back over this with a pin and trying to make straight lines. I thought about using a ruler, but there are way too many lines for a ruler. So I'm going to freehand it. I think it'll turn out fine. I think it'll be all right. Um, I'm either going to use a Micron 03 or a Micron 01. I'm not for sure which one I want to use yet, but that's the first part of this is I'm going to go through with the pins and I'm going to outline this. And then the second part is to decorate it. Now to decorate this, I wanted to do something fun and kind of summary. So I have this memory keeping sticker book from the Happy Planner and it's got these really cute bees in it. So I'm going to be using those. And then I also have the All in a Seasons Mega Sticker Book from the Happy Planner. And inside of here, it's got these cute cherries and lemons and watermelons. And I thought that would be really fun to use. So I'm going to use both of those sticker books. And then I also grabbed the Fun Alphabet Sticker Book for us to title this. Um, I, don't, I think I might do... I might just put April step tracker or April steps. I'm not for sure exactly how I want to title that yet, but first things first, let's dive in with the Micron and I'm going to attempt to outline these and make the lines as straight as possible, but we shall see how that works out. Hey, 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 it is voiceover Ashley. Okay, so I ended up going with the Micron 01 to do the outlines of the hexagons, and I also used the Micro 01 to date each hexagon. So I dated them one through 30 for the month of April. Now today, as I'm doing this voiceover, it's April the 11th, and um, some of the days of the month are already over, but I do have a Fitbit, so I will go back on the days that are already over and I will fill those days in with a step tracker. I just hadn't, I didn't do it in this video or whatever, but there's something else that I wanna talk about really quickly. I had said earlier that this is a great spread for somebody who is new to Bujo or bullet journaling or new to creating your own custom spreads. And if you're a beginner and you're looking at this and you're thinking there's no way I can create this, I promise you can. Yes, it is tedious. <laughs> it is actually very tedious. So turn on some Netflix, turn on some music, whatever. Just sit down and chill out and give yourself enough time to make this spread, but you could totally, totally make this. Now, if you don't have a hexagon cutter like I have, I have a couple of ideas for you. You can totally take a piece of cardstock and draw it out yourself. Just freehand it on the cardstock and then cut that out and use that as a stencil. If you have Happy Planner stickers, which if you're subscribed to me, I'm sure that you do, but if you have Happy Planner stickers, they, they do have some that are hexagons. And if there's one maybe that you wouldn't necessarily use um, as a sticker in your planner or something, you could stick that on a piece of cardstock and then take scissors and cut around that and then use that for a stencil. I hope that makes sense. Um, you could always freehand it on the page, which I think would be really, really hard to do, which is why I didn't do it. Sitting here trying to figure out 
like the hexagons and making sure that I had the right sizes for each of them. That just seems like a lot of work, but if you wanted to, you could definitely freehand it. So I have a few other ideas for ways that you can use this tracker. So you could use it as a mood tracker. I thought that would be really cute and you could make like a little key. Um, you could use it for a weather tracker. I mean, I personally don't want to track the weather, but maybe you do and that's totally cool, whatever you want. Um, you could use it as a miles tracker. So if you're someone that likes to walk or run, you could track how many miles you're doing each day. You could use it for a water tracker, which really you can use it for any type of habit that you're wanting to build. Um, now the whole, like here, let me explain the idea that I had in my head. I was thinking the hexagons, it reminds me of honeycombs, right? And I seen those bee stickers and I was like, that would be cute. And I would have loved to have had some more bee stickers and like honey style stickers, but I didn't have any. So that's why I ended up going with the lemons and cherries and watermelon. It was like a fun type, uh, summary vibes. But if you have honey stickers or more bee stickers, that would be super, super cute. Like, feel free to do it. I don't care. Go ahead. Feel free to copy this if you want to. That's totally up to you. The only thing that I ask is that if you do post it on Instagram, please share that with me. I would love to see it. But I went in with the big eraser. Well, now I'm going in with the big eraser to erase the lines. And the Micron dries pretty quickly. You normally don't have any problems with it, but I did shake the paper just a little bit to make sure it was dry. I did not want to start erasing my pencil marks and smearing that Micron and then having to start over because it would have drove me bananas. Um, so anyways, I did go in and erase it and I also dated it too. So I dated it one through 30 for the month of April. All right, now comes the fun part. I'm going to start decorating it. So here I have a piece of parchment paper. And if you're new to planning, oh, I just hit my elbow off of my discs. That hurt right on the funny bone. I don't know why, well, actually I do know why I call, they call it a funny bone. Whenever you hit your funny bone in front of other people, they laugh at you, <laughs> right? Um, anyways, if you're new to planning, me and my accidents here, if you're new to planning, you can use parchment paper as a guide for your sticker placement. Your stickers, even the clear ones, will not stick to the parchment paper. Like they'll stay on there long enough for you to use them as a guide, but it's easy to pull them off. They don't get stuck on there, so you don't have to worry about that. But um, here I took the parchment paper and I lined it up just to kind of see where I was gonna put April Step Tracker and kind of line it all up the way that I wanted it to, which I ended up changing it later on like I ended up pulling the stickers back up and changing it a little bit you guys will see that later on but we are first off starting with titling this and then I'm going to go in and start decorating it I so wish I had more of those bee stickers and they were bigger. That would be so cute. I even thought about like you can make your own like lines and dots, like the little like zooming lights that the bees are like flying. You guys know what I'm talking about? I just call them lights too. They're not lights. What am I talking about? The zooming like they're the little dots, like they're flying, like shoom, they're flying through there. Um, Okay, we've got great illustrations happening today, but I was thinking you could honestly make your own little lines like that. That would be really, really cute too, but I do wish I had some more bee stickers, but that's the only ones that I had on hand. Feel free to use whatever stickers that you have. Decorate this however you want. I was just thinking the honeycomb, the bees, the honey. That's kind of what my initial thoughts were, but again, I ended up going with the watermelons and stuff because I had more of those stickers.
I did end up pulling out the Girls with Goals sticker book because there's a sticker inside of there that says working hard and I thought that that would be really, really cute to fill in that like blank space right there. Also, I love the bicycle down on the bottom. I kind of wish I would have used more of those and also the grass over there on the bottom right side. I thought I probably could have used some more grass too. I just wasn't sure where to put it. Something else really quickly. I want this to inspire you and, and kind of think out of the hexagon here for a second. Yes, make a hexagon tracker if you want to, like totally go for it. But think about too, what other shapes can you use and make a tracker with? I was thinking triangle shapes would be really, really cute. And then to decorate with the triangle watermelons, that would be really, really cute. You could use circles, you could use squares and kind of set those up somehow. Like get creative with it and just something as simple as a shape can turn into a really cool habit tracker. So I'm gonna challenge you to think outside of the hexagon <laughs> and um, see what you can come up with. And just start with a pencil, start, start outlining it, start drawing it, start seeing where it goes. And then um, from there you can work on creating a fun little habit tracker. But again, I'm not telling you, like go make the hexagon one if you want to. You can totally copy me, I don't mind whatsoever. But I also wanna challenge you to kind of think out of the box a little bit on it. All right, my friends, that is the completed step tracker. And I did end up changing the original letters that I had up there for step tracker and I changed them to black because that matches the working hard sticker a little bit better and it kind of pulled the black to the top of the page and to the bottom because I felt like it needed some more. Um, it looked cute with the step tracker up there and colorful. I just like the black better and I do think it turned out really, really cute. But let me know your thoughts down below in the description box. And let me know if you're thinking about using hexagons as a um, some type of habit tracker of some sorts. And also, again, don't forget to go follow Elizabeth and make sure you watch her video. She is amazing and you're going to love her as much as I do. Hey, did you know that I have a bunch of playlists on my YouTube channel? I have everything from setup playlist, memory keeping, fitness planning, social media planning, and much more. So make sure you go check out the different playlists I have especially if you're looking for a specific category or type of video when it comes to planning. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.